On today's vlog, we do some hair color. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Today I got something extra special for you guys because you've been asking for hair color videos. So yesterday in the vlog I said one question for you guys. Would you like to see me color this mannequin in the next vlog? And a lot of you guys said yes. So I wanted to do a color technique that was definitely salon friendly. That's the kind of work that I like to do because it's something that I feel you guys out there can use on a daily basis. So that brings value to you guys. So this is the color that we went through and did. What, what I did was I brought down the base level one level and then I added some medium tones in there and then I also balayage through the front to add some brightness right on the top, which gives this a real natural feel to the hair color because it would be technically brighter on the top of the head than it would be on the bottom. So it's a real natural technique, uses some block coloring, uses different shapes to work through it. So I hope you guys like the technique. We're gonna get started, here we go. All right guys, so to start off the color technique, what I'm gonna do is section off the hair. I think the sectioning hair and color is one of the most important things because you can really figure out how the hair is gonna fall. So what I'm gonna do is create different shapes on top of the head. So I created a triangle on the left-hand side of the parting, and then on the heavy side, I create the top section, which is also a triangle. And then I'm gonna create another triangle on the right hand side underneath where that heavy portion is gonna fall over. So really triangles for me, it's more of like diagonal forward lines. And what that's gonna do is kind of push that color uh, forward a little bit within the technique. So I think about just like I do hair cutting, if I over direct the hair or I create a diagonal forward parting, it's just gonna allow the color placement to fall forward as well. Then I take a little triangle section out of the crown area, which I'm gonna brighten up because it, naturally the crown area would be a little bit brighter. So we've got um, our Vibra color is what we're using today for our color portion. And then we're using Sunlight's balayage for the highlight portion of the video. So I'm gonna start off, this is my uh, 5N and 6N combination. What I wanna do is just deepen the base of the hair a little bit. So I'm going through there, I wanna paint the entire underneath a shade darker than it already is. And what that's gonna do for me is really just allow me to change the tone of the overall picture of the hair color. So I'm just trying to match up each tone that I'm using. So I go in with the natural uh, end base, but then I'm gonna go through and try to neutralize some of the top portion as we work our way up. So I'm just gonna work my way down the side of the head um, using vertical sections and just keeping everything nice and neat and painted back off of the head out of the way of the rest of the hair. And we're gonna continue on to the opposite side. We're gonna do the same exact thing, just taking vertical sections, painting everything back clean and out of the way. Now what I'm gonna do is just lay a foil on top. This has nothing to do with the processing of the hair color, it just has everything to do with keeping it separated. So I'm just going through, now I'm gonna work that crown section. This is my 8A with 30 volume, and I'm gonna work that all the way through. This is, again, Vibra color that I'm using for this particular technique. What I want to do is use an ash base. The ash base typically is a blue-based color, so I wanted to go in, and because I'm gonna be lifting a couple shades up, I'm gonna get those orange undertones in the hair color, so I just wanted to counteract them a little bit, not completely canceling the warm tones because obviously natural hair has a little bit of warmth in it, but I wanted to help neutralize it on its way up. So now we're gonna work the fun portion of the hair color, which is the top and sides. And what I'm gonna do is paint the 8A on the base. And what's great about this technique is you can actually do this as a gray hair touch up if you want. Um, so if you have a client with gray hair that you just wanna put that touch up on, then I go through with the sunlights and I paint the ends of the hair. I'm gonna do this all the way up that triangle section. And I'm gonna use Sunlight's Balayage Saran Wrap to cover the section really just so I don't get any bleeding. The incubation of the actual hair color happens with the clay base of the Sunlight's Lightener, which I paint on nice and thick so that it kind of keeps itself in its own little shell and helps uh, the lifting happen from there. So again, painting that AA on the base and then working through the ends, painting a lot of Sunlight's Balayage Lightener through the ends with 40 volume. That's gonna help me lift it up. If I was working on a guest in the salon, I would definitely add Olaplex to that um, 
lightener. Even though Sunlight is a very gentle lightener, I would definitely add the Olaplex in for the extra protection when you're using 40 volume. But anytime you're using a balayage lightener, what we've found is that you want to up the volume of developer because you don't get as much lift because you're not packing it into a foil. Um, so definitely, you know, up your volume if you're using a balayage lightener. So same thing here, painting the 8A on the base. Again, great for a gray hair touch-up. So if you have that guest um, that you're that's coming in, you're covering up her gray hair, but you want to add some highlights to the end and keep them nice and natural, not do those foil highlights, this is a great way to do it. The other thing I love about the saran wrap, and it's not something that I used to use very often, um, is that unlike a foil, you can see through it. So you can kind of see where the hair is at without actually opening it up and disrupting your work. So we're finishing off that bottom section. That's all going to be the underneath. So what I want to do on both sides of the underneath is really just paint and really brighten that up. And then through the top, I'm going to change it up a little bit uh, with the technique. So again, 8A on the base, painting the sunlights through the ends. You'll also notice that all those sections that I'm taking with the sunlights, they're all diagonal forward. So they're gonna have a different flow to the head. I'm not working them vertically up the head. They are on that slight diagonal forward base. So you're gonna get more of a forward flow to the foil. If you wanted the, uh, the color to kind of flow to the back of the head, if it was longer hair, then maybe you would take diagonal back sections throughout that uh, side section as well. So now in the front, I'm gonna do this a little bit different. I'm gonna paint that AA a little bit further down. I don't want a real, bright uh, piece in the front. Some of you might want that, but I tend to uh, use that as a safety mechanism in a way because it allows me to not get hot spots right in the front of the hair color. So now I'm going to work, you're going to see diagonal back throughout the entire top section um, because that top section is going to flow back. So I really want it to kind of go with the grain uh, as the hair color flows through it. So the only thing I'm changing on the top is some in some portions, uh, every other section throughout the top, I'm working the 8A all the way through. And then the other portions I'm doing 8A on the base and then the Sunlight's Balayage 40 volume on the ends. So I wanted to break that up so I didn't just brighten the top completely. Um, I wanted to have some of those low lights kind of passing through the bottom sections. So, but the same thing, just working through, um, painting the base, highlighting the ends and working it all the way through the technique. So now we're going to finish off our last section and just painting that completely the 8A, which is going to flow into the back crown area, which I painted all 8A as well. We'll clean her face off a little bit. And then there is our technique. Again, I love the saran wrap because you can see uh, the processing. We processed it for about 35 minutes. Um, now you're going to see a lot of warmth pop through this hair color. So what I'm going to do is blow it dry and then I'm going to tone it. I, I don't believe that hair color is done until you tone it because bleach is not a color. So I'm going to go in with a demi color. This is 9N. I used a majority 9N splash of 7A, half ounce of 7A to really just help neutralize uh, that warm tone that's coming through. Now I think where a lot of people make mistakes is first off, they don't always blow dry the hair when they tone. If you don't blow dry the hair and the hair is wet, it's going to um, dilute your toner. So you're not going to get as much tone as you wanted. So if you're going to do that, I would suggest going a little bit deeper with the toner. Um, now, a lot of people pretend like they're lighter than they really are and they pick the wrong toner. They pick level nine toners, but they didn't get to a level nine. So just be careful uh, when you're picking your level and you're picking your tone. I love the warm uh, richness that comes through to this color. Like I said, we neutralized a little bit of it, but we didn't neutralize the entire thing. So you still get that warmth coming through. And for mannequin hair, I think this turned out really great. You can see those pieces of highlights coming through, but you can also see the deep parts of the 8A that came through and then the underneath uh, uh, looks great because it's a nice deep dark color very natural look to this hair color and that's what i was going for hope you guys like it definitely let me know in the comments below and if you would like to see more hair color techniques let me know that as well all right guys and like always if you liked this video then hit the like button hit the share button share this video with all of your friends out there and also leave in the comments let me know would you like to see more color videos um, I definitely did not mind doing this video for you guys. It was kind of fun. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Also check out freesaloneducation.com. We got a ton more free education videos on there and hit the subscribe button 
uh, once again, if you haven't done that already. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.